Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Book, and in less than five minutes we will be learning two ways to clone a repository on GitHub. The first method is using GitHub Desktop, and the other is using Git Bash. Both options are simple and viable. GitHub Desktop is more beginner friendly, and Git Bash is the experienced and quick version. With that being said, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first method we will go over for cloning repositories is GitHub Desktop. Go ahead and Google GitHub Desktop or click the link in the description to go to their website. If you're working from a Mac, click Download for Mac OS. If you're working on Windows, click the purple Download for Windows button. Once it finishes downloading, it will open up. From here, you can clone, create, or add existing repositories. We are going to clone, so click the second button. Click URL on the top right. Go to the repository you want to clone. In this case, I googled the simple Hello World React Native program. Make sure to check near the top left to see if you are on a branch or the master version. In my job, we have the master version, which is the official source code. Then there's the branch off of that, which is called develop. The develop branch is what the feature branches get merged into once the pull requests are reviewed by the managers. So to recap, feature gets merged into develop, which then gets merged into the master or also referred to as main. Once you've verified you're on the correct branch, click the green code button near the top right and copy the link. Go back to GitHub Desktop and paste the link in the top field. The second field is where the project will be cloned to in your local machine. Edit this path if you want it to be saved somewhere else. Go ahead and click the clone button. Once it finishes cloning, you can see what the current repository is, what the current branch is, and when the last fetch was. The last fetch means when you last cloned the repo. From here, you can open the repo page on GitHub in your browser, view the files of your repository in the file explorer, and open the repo in your external editor of choice. Mine is VS Code, but most IDEs will work. Once it opens, the clone repo and source code should be there. Open up the folders and click on the files to see their contents. The second method requires you to download and install Git. Google Git or click the link in the description and select Mac OS if you're using a Mac, otherwise click Windows. Follow the default installation. Open it and type git dash dash version to verify that it was downloaded and installed correctly. Make sure that you are on the correct branch and then click the green code button near the top right and copy the link. Once it is copied, open the file explorer and go to the location you want to clone the source code to. Right click on the empty space in the folder and select git bash here. Type in the command prompt, git clone and then paste the URL that was just copied. Mine was placing a character at the beginning and end, so just delete these two, if that's happening for you, and hit enter. The repo should be copied into your local machine now. Verify that it is there by going back into the folder and looking for the newly created folder inside of it. Open it and you will see the newly cloned repo. Now you can open it by going to your IDE of choice and selecting open folder. Search for it and then click select folder. This will open up the project and you can see the source code once you open the folders and click on the files. Alright guys, hopefully you now have the same source code that is on the GitHub repo on your local machine. If this video helped you, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Feel free to leave suggestions for future videos, and I'll see you in the matrix.